there is one mode for which both true and false go to the go to false that is this so we can get rid of this r so that will give rise to p q on a 0 and q on a 1 or on true and we get rid of one r so the remaining r's are there so this is on a 0 this is on a 1 this r goes down and the remaining r is this and then we have false and true now this q goes to r on a false so it goes and r goes to false so this is what happens over here on q being false it goes directly to false and the rest of the tree remains as it is so this completes step two then we move to the next step step three Here we see that there are three R's and all the R's go to the same format. That is on true, go to true and on false, go to false. So this and this, 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 this and this. So we can combine these three R's by representing it with a single R. So this leads us to having P Q. There is one R and from Q we go to R on both true and false. And we go to on true to R and then we have false and true. Now this remains as it is, Q on false goes to false and for R on true goes to true and on false goes to false. Is there any further reduction that we can do? Yes. So as I see it, we see this set and we can act on what happens over here. So let's move to that and see what happens here. So we have this format. So we can remove this Q over here. We can remove this Q and connect P directly on false to R. So this gives rise to P Q R on true goes to Q on false goes to R and The rest of it remains. So this is our final reduced ordered binary addition diagram. Let's see another example starting with a formula. How would I like to go about doing it? So here is a Boolean formula x or y not x or y and the two are ended. And using the ordering x, y, z, we need to compute the reduced uh, binary dation diagram. Uh, the way I would like to go about doing this is by uh, first writing out the truth table. It makes it simple for me to visualize the entire diagram. So, and I prefer using uh, ones and zeros over true and false. It's just my way of making it easier. Uh, I find it easier to represent it that way. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 0. Now we have the first part that is x, zor, y. So that's true only if x is true or y is true, not both. So x and y are true. So that is 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0. And 
x or oh sorry this is x or not x or z so 0 1 not x so it will be opposite of what is x so 0 1 is 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 0 1 and then finally f is end of these two so 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 so this is my final uh, value of f and let me now draw the bdd for this so we are starting with x then we have y so this is on a 1 and this is on a 0 and then z one zero one zero then finally we have our zeros and ones so i'm going to do this quickly and if you want to have a look at how this is done uh, it's better you look at example set one So this is the uh, initial uh, ordered binary decision diagram. Now let's go about reducing this. This is the same diagram. So the first thing, step one, combine the terminals. So I get x, y on a 0, y on a 1, and a z on a 0, z on 1, z on a 0. Z on one, and then I have a one and a zero. So starting from the rightmost, uh, one zero, both go to zero. This one goes to one and a zero. Both go to one. and both go to zero. So this is after we have done step one. Now we can do step two. Here we see that uh, in case of three of the Z's, they go to the same value on a one or a zero. So this goes to a zero, this goes to a one, and this goes to a zero. So given this, we can get rid of these three Z's and that gives us our new reduced diagram. So that will be our step two. So, so the X on the top, Y on a zero and a Y on a one. And we get rid of three of these Z's and one Z remains. So this remains, so we have a Z here and that's on a zero and we have one and zero. Now here we see that the Y goes to the Z on a zero and this goes to a zero. So we get on a zero here and on a one, it goes to a one. For this Z, it goes to one on a one and a zero on a zero and this z goes uh, the y goes to z on a one which goes to a zero so we get this so this would be our uh, final uh, diagram uh, after we do step two looking at this we need to check if there is any further reduction that's possible uh, we don't see any further reduction happening in this case. Uh, we don't see any further reduction happening over here on any of the nodes because there are no 
overlapping nodes or having the same connections. So this will be our final uh, reduced uh, form uh, of the binary relation tree. To uh, understand further, uh, please go through the content that's given in the book, some of the examples which are given in the book uh, and the video notes, uh, video that has been provided to you uh, on your canvas. Uh, thank you and have a good time.